As of last weekend, we have a brand new Parkrun world record. <laughs> I can see you in the comments, don't start. Set by Nick Griggs at Belfast Victoria Parkrun. Interestingly, according to the current listings, Belfast Victoria is the sixth fastest in the UK, one ahead of my local parkrun here in Worthing. His time of 13 minutes 44 seconds beat that of Andy Butchart, set only last year by one second. Prior to that, the running channel's Andy Badley had held the record for 11 years. He ran uh, 13.48 back in 2012. That's all absolutely fantastic, really cool, especially seeing as Nick stated that he didn't even set out to break the record, it just kind of happened on the day. So massive congratulations, well done to him. My coach always gets us to do a park run the week before the Irish National Cross Country Championships as a bit of a hard effort just to gauge kind of where you're at. So fortunately enough this year I'm just obviously a bit better than I was last year and then a bit better than I was the year before. So it all culminated kind of in a, in a world best performance. However, some people have been calling out Parkrun HQ for celebrating Nick's achievements on their social media channels. The argument being that Parkrun's behaviour in this regard is at odds with their core values and the message they've been sending out to users of Parkrun over recent years. HQ have long argued that Parkrun is not a race. We've all heard that phrase before. More recently, they've suggested it's not even a running event, more like a social and health initiative, especially, especially for those for whom physical activity may not be the norm, or for those who may feel intimidated or afraid, or be convinced that places like Parkrun aren't for people like them. What with the removal of the stats and the statement from Parkrun CEO Russ Jeffries that it certainly wasn't helpful that we were providing some prominent links to a considerable amount of data from our home pages that was clearly performance related. Some commentators are questioning why they would use the most performance related of all performance related data as a marketing opportunity on Facebook. If I'm nervous about attending Parkrun for the very first time because I think I'm slow or I'll be laughed at or I'll come last and embarrass myself, how am I going to feel when I log on to Parkrun's Facebook page and see them highlighting Nick's amazing, in their words, 13 minutes 44 second performance along with 51,000 other Parkrunners who achieved personal best times last weekend? Personally, I don't have a problem with it at all. In fact, I think it highlights that Parkrun HQ, no matter how much they try to distance themselves from what Parkrun originally was, i.e. a time trial, it remains a time trial for a large number of people. My brother included, in fact, he's coming down to visit this weekend and we're going to take him out to Worthing Parkrun and try and pace him to his fastest Parkrun yet. So if you don't want to miss that video, please do consider subscribing subscribing to the channel, click the bell notification icon as well. I've said this before and I will say it again now, I do think Parkrun HQ try to wrap people in cotton wool. Of course, we want Parkrun to exist for everyone. It's a wonderful community event that should be open and available for all to take part. But the thing is, it is. It's free. And when is this park run? It's this weekend. Uh-huh. And how much does it cost? Um, it's free. I see. And when is it? It's this weekend. At some point, people have to take responsibility for themselves. Sure, some people are low on self-confidence. They're nervous about taking part. They're worried that something will go wrong. But you know, that is just an analogy for life. We all get nervous about starting new things, about going somewhere different, about taking on a new challenge or meeting new people. That's just life. And if it's important to you, you will grab the bull by the horns and you will go for it. Now I do 
do think we could make more of celebrating people at the back of the pack at Parkrun. I don't know if you've ever seen the golden hour at the Western States 100 race in the USA. It's a real thing there that they get hundreds of people staying behind to the very end of the race to cheer in the final few runners. They make it a real event. Now here's my challenge to you and I'll do this as well. If you can, if you've got time at the end of Parkrun this weekend, try and stay to the very end and cheer in the final few runners. Give the tail walkers and the park walkers some love and let's show that Parkrun can be all things to all people. A time trial for some and a social and health initiative for others. It's definitely both for me. You've seen me do it as a race, as a time trial, busting my gut to get the fastest time I can, but you've also seen me running round and jogging with friends and making it a social event. Many congratulations to Nick on his world best, fastest ever parkrun time of 13.44 and congratulations and well done to you, whether it was your very first parkrun or your 500th parkrun. Thank you very much for watching. If you'd like to watch my 250th milestone parkrun, click that link right there and I will see you guys on the start line next time.